Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to darken the background on an image, especially in portraiture if you want to do a fine art picture or you just want to get rid of a horrible background and make the subject in front stand out. It's a very easy technique. I'm getting a lot of requests off um, people to show them this how I do mine. There is a lot of techniques out there that are different to this. I'm showing you the quickest way and the, the best result I can from the way I do it from my image. There's a lot of techniques out there uh, that do it differently. This is my way. So what I'm going to do is first off I'm going to protect this image by uh, pressing Control and the letter J just to give it a background copy and then I'm going to go over to the left hand side and select the quick selection tool. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the tab's on that. It doesn't matter if it's on plus, it's no big deal. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all around as close to the edge as I possibly can. But I'm going to do it in three stages and I'll explain why. The first thing I want to do is hold down the left mouse button and just go as close to the edge of the bird as I can. I'm going to let go and hold down the left mouse button again and do it in little sections because I want it to look as neat and as tidy as I can. If you make a mistake, don't worry. Just keep doing it in stages. And if you do make a mistake, you don't have to go all the way back because obviously you've done it in a couple of sections. Just take your time doing this. Don't try and go right to the edge if you can help it. Or if you can and get away with it, brilliant. If you can't, then you know, you'll just go to the minus tool and you just draw it back in if you go out over so it's not a problem. If it does happen here with this, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. But it's so far I'm doing okay. Now, I, I'm not interested in this bit here. I'm just interested in what is around the bird itself. Now, as you can see, I've selected all the feathers, but you can still see here I've missed a few of the tips of the feathers out. That's not going to be a problem, and I'll show you for why now. If you can see under the bird's beak, there's feathers missing there, but that'll come back into play in a minute. Once you click on the refine edge, you'll see that background will be uh, deleted out. So you, you, it will show you what you've actually selected with your quick selection tool. In this case, it's the bird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the box on the smart radius tool and the slider. And for this, I'm going up to 250, which is the full amount. And as you can see now, all the tips have come back into play. Click OK. Background will come back into play now. Then I'm going to go to Select and Invert. So that's now giving me the background selected rather than subject than the bird in front. So now I can go to the paintbrush, making sure that my background selected to black. And I'm just going to paint over all of that to blacken out and darken out the, uh, the background. So I've just got the bird in the image. Then I'm going to go back to select and deselect. Now, it looks okay, but there's still a few problems. So what I'm going to do is select burn tool onto shadows. The exposure is at 12. And as you can see here, you can see the background just popping through. So what I'm going to do is just gently go over where it is and just gently go around the edge of the selection so it softens it in with the burn tool. So... I'm not getting them hard edges around, which I haven't really anyway, because obviously I've, the smart radius tool's done its job, uh, but it, it won't do any harm going around with this. Once you've done that, right click on the copy, flatten the image, and there you go. Simple as that. There's the background. That's the finished product. If you want to make it into black and white, just desaturate it, drop the levels down a little bit, give it a bit of contrast, and you've got a fine art picture. Not bad. I hope you've enjoyed that. So that video was for Larry, Cliff, Graham, and uh, all the other people. I'm sorry if I've not named everybody, but there was quite a few that was asking me to do this uh, forum. So I hope it helps you fellas. Thanks very much. Till next time, bye for now.